Lake Superior, which is located in North America, is the largest freshwater lake by surface area in the world. The lake contains 3 quadrillion gallons or 11 quadrillion litres of water. However, there is something unique to Lake Superior from most other lakes in the world. Its depths are said to be so cold that the growth of bacteria is inhibited and so the bodies of the dead do not float but are eternally preserved and trapped in time at the bottom of the lake. There are around 350 shipwrecks in Lake Superior and an estimated 10,000 people have died in the icy waters. And legends say Lake Superior never gives up her dead. The SS Kamloops was a lake freighter that was part of the fleet of Canada steamship lines from its launching in 1924 until it sank with all hands off Isle Royale in Lake Superior on or around the 7th of December 1927. It turns out that the frigid waters of Lake Superior had not just refrigerated the farm equipment and foodstuffs on board the sunken ship, but it had perfectly preserved one of the 13 crewmen who never made it ashore, his body stiff and his skin white as snow. The nameless member of the Kamloops crew had resided inside the ship's engine room for 50 years until divers discovered his body. The shipwreck is now often visited by divers and some started calling the body Old Whitey due to the pale skin of the corpse. Some divers also reported seeing Old Whitey follow or stare at them as they explore the shipwreck. Another well-known shipwreck is the SS Edmund Fitzgerald the Fitzgerald was an American Great Lakes freighter that sank in Lake Superior during a heavy storm on November 10th, 1975 with the loss of the entire crew of 29 men. When she launched on June 7th, 1958, she was the largest ship on North America's Great Lakes and she remains the largest to have sunk in the lakes to this day. There are many theories into what caused the ship to sink but the exact cause is still unknown only that the bad weather was known to play a part. No bodies were ever recovered after the sinking and today all the crew still remain inside the ship 530 feet down. But it's not only the bodies of ship's crews that never return but also the victims of the mafia or murders as far back as the 1950s who see the lake as the perfect place to hide a body. Police and emergency services have also reported that in many incidents of drownings, the bodies were never recovered. If you are ever visiting Lake Superior and head on to the water, be sure to wear a life jacket unless you want to join the ranks of the 10,000 others who have already been lost forever to the depths of the lake. <laughs>